Hey everyone, so it is time for me to start moving the plants that have been inside of my house outside. I feel like the weather was so cold for so long, I was getting very anxious to get them outside and now the weather has jumped so quickly that I can't get them outside fast enough. Uh, but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant three of the morning glories that I started inside in three different places on my deck. One on the front deck where I am right now, two on the back deck. So last year was my first year ever growing Morning Glory and I had an idea in my head of what I wanted it to do or what I hoped it would do and it exceeded all of my expectations. So I'll put in either a photo or a video here but basically I grew Morning Glory up my flower cart which I will link where that's from and talk about that in just a second and it essentially covered the entire canopy of the cart and looked absolutely beautiful. It was one of my favorite things in my garden last year. So I am planning to do that exact same thing this year with a few little tweaks from what didn't work as well last year. And then I'm going to plant two just on some trellises up in the back because one issue I had with the one on the front deck, because we get afternoon sunlight, it didn't flower as much. It didn't even flower until like really, really late in the season. And someone suggested they do better in morning light, aka morning glory. Um, so the two that I'm planting on the back deck are gonna get the first light of the morning and then be in shade from about like noon to one on the rest of the day. So I'm excited to see how those do. Now, one thing I wanna say about morning glory, it's very invasive and it can choke out other plants. So be careful with this if you are growing it in ground and you can get rid of it, like the red of the plant and then find five more plants popping up so it can be very hard to eradicate from your garden as well. Luckily for me, I grow everything in containers and my containers are on a deck. So there's no soil anywhere on the ground. Let's say some seeds blow off a flower. There's nowhere for them to really take root because they'll just land on a deck. One thing I was curious about last year is whether I would find some popping up that it overwintered in other containers. But I mean, I clear out all my containers for the most part, like my small ones that are around here. Nothing flew over into a raised bed. So it seems like in my situation, I am able to control morning glory. So definitely keep that in mind with this plant. It's not a plant that's necessarily going to uh, be beneficial in every situation. But let's go ahead now and I will show you my cart. We'll get this one planted up here and then we will head over to the back. So here is the setup I have for my cart. This cart is from Deer Park Ironworks. I just got it last year and I'm so happy that I did. I do put plants on the top and I also use it to store pots and other things throughout the growing season. Um, I'll link down below. I got it off the website. You can also, I think they have it at like Walmart and maybe Home Depot, but they have a bunch of different metal products that are really pretty. I also have my eye on potentially a potting bench, but I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. Anyway, what I am doing is I'm gonna pot the morning glory here in this plastic container. There is a drainage hole um, and I've already put some of like the older soil from last year in here and I'll fill the rest with compost and fresh soil. So a few things I'm doing differently. First, I got a larger pot. I think these were in a terracotta pot last year and maybe mm, a 10 inch terracotta. I'm gonna have to check what it was, but I know it was too small. Um, it was very root bound. The water would absorb so quickly that I need to water it two or three times a day because it was just so full of roots. So larger container, number one. Number two, only planting one plant. I started two morning glory in here last year and that is not at all necessary. In fact, one kind of overtook the other, like one was very thick and long and huge and the other one was definitely a little bit more kind of scraggly. Uh, the final thing is I'm running drip to it. So I did not have this set up to drip last year because it was the only pot that was kind of over here that needed it and this year, I do have it set up so that hopefully I don't have to manually water it very much. Hopefully not at all. So we'll go ahead and get this planted. I am going to add a cage because so the idea is to get it to grow up the top of the cart and there is kind of an empty space here like there's nothing for to really grasp onto from the top of the container up to here where I want it to start growing. So I'm just going to add a cage to help it along.
All right, this one is planted. So like I said, I added compost, I added potting soil, I also sprinkled in some granular plant food, put in the cage, and then just guided the morning glory vine up. These morning glory are gonna be so happy to have something to finally climb. I think one of the ones I'm planting out back has been climbing itself. Uh, they've been trying to climb each other. So I think they're going to enjoy it much better up here. So they'll climb up that cage and then eventually make their way up here to the roof. And I just wanted to show the flower cart from head on too, just to show you how cute it is. Over on the back deck now, I'm gonna put one morning glory in each of these flower boxes. I know the containers look large just because they're so long, but they're actually a smaller volume than the one I just planted the other morning glory in. So one will be enough for each of these. And then I have these two trellises, which they will very quickly take over. So I'm even thinking about maybe putting like, I don't know, small nails in here and letting it continue to grow. We'll kind of see how it goes and deal with that when it gets here. So I'm gonna do the same thing in these. Um, they're empty right now, so potting soil, little compost, little plant food, get these all watered in. Okay, both of these morning glories are now planted and I realized I forgot to put in the granular plant food. So I just sprinkled it on the top and kind of scratched it into the soil. That should be fine. This first morning glory here was long enough for me to start to train up the trellis. Also, I think I mentioned this in when I was getting my back deck organized video, the plug for the back deck is right here. So hopefully I can kind of get to it around the side if I need to, but I've already gone ahead and plugged in my extension cord for my outdoor lights. In fact, I think I could probably access it right under there. So that should be fine. If not, I can always shift the box a little bit more to the right. This one is not long enough and I realized I actually forgot to thin this so there was a second one growing so I uh, got rid of the one that looked a little bit weaker. But this one is not long enough yet to reach the trellis so I'll just keep an eye and when it is, I will start to train it up here too. But like I said, these are gonna get the morning sun. I think it's about 11.30 right now. So this is where the sun hits as it starts to rise and then we get shade in the afternoon. And I'll see kind of the difference between how these grow, how these flower compared to the one on the front deck that gets the afternoon sun. So that is everything for this video. Like I said earlier, morning glory are invasive, so be careful with them in your garden. Um, but that is how I plan to grow them this year, and I'm excited to see how they do. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below or any tips on growing morning glories, and I will see you in the next video.